Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog here on the Potter Collector Channel. If you're new here, welcome. We're happy to have you here. My name is Peter Kenneth, and the Potter Collector Channel is mostly a Harry Potter related channel, but I have interests outside of Harry Potter that I'd like to share with you guys. And today is one of those interests. We're doing an unboxing of this massive crate that arrived. I wonder what's inside. I actually know what's inside. And I'm very excited to get this thing open. It's huge. It's Gigantosaurus. And then I have another box here to unbox. So we're doing an unboxing video today and these are all minerals, crystals, and rocks. If you did not know, I am a fossil and mineral collector as well as a Harry Potter book collector. And there are some incredible specimens in these boxes right here. So we've got um, a box from China. This is Congo material, so from Africa. China has some of the most beautiful minerals on the planet. So I can't wait to show you one specifically in this box, which I'm calling the Lady Gaga piece. And the person I bought it from was like, this is, this is a Lady Gaga piece. This is like amazing, intense, like over the top. So I'm excited to show you guys the Lady Gaga piece. And then the big crate has a massive specimen of something I'm not gonna tell you. So let's just start. Let's open. Let's open the boxes. So I know I've been promising you guys a full video of the entire fossil and mineral collection. That's still coming. But I want to tell you guys, like, I'm thinking about it. Back in October, I filmed a part of that vlog um, for a fossil that's right here. I'll just give you guys a little quick little look at it. I won't go into depths and talk about it, but just to like, as an apology, like sorry that this is taking so long, I'll show you what it is. But I filmed a bit of that and it was actually the lighting of the lighting, the lighting of this fossil. I showed you guys kind of how I light my fossils and minerals. Um, I'm waiting for one more big mineral to arrive. And I'll tell you guys what that is, again, as an apology for taking so long. It is, I think it's 60 pounds? Or was it 70 pounds? 60 or 70 pounds, or might be more, black quartz. A massive black quartz crystal that's kind of at an angle with some like smaller crystals all going kind of at an, it's. <sighs> so once that arrives, I will film that complete tour of all of the fossils and minerals in the collection. Let me show you the, the Allosaurus femur real quick. So again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but this is my Allosaurus femur. So I showed you guys how I installed these lights and that's all you're gonna see of the femur until that vlog. All right, so I have all of the tools necessary to open everything up as well as some extra towels to protect my floors and garbage bags for the packing material. Um, I'm gonna open up the big crate first. Bam, we're gonna save Lady Gaga for a little bit. We're gonna open up the big crate. Now I also wanna say that the Lady Gaga piece is not that big. That's like a box full of magical material from China. The Lady Gaga piece is actually somewhat small, but packs a big punch and is a really unique piece too, all right. So as I mentioned, this is Congo material. If you know minerals at all, well, I mean, a, a fair amount of different minerals come from Congo and Africa, um, but there's something very famous, a very famous mineral that comes from Congo. So you may have already guessed what is inside of here. This mineral is also very famous from Brazil and Bolivia, but the Congo and Bolivian versions of this mineral are very well known for having large crystal structure. And there's actually some more in here. What is this? I don't know, let's find out. That's gonna be it right there. Uh, there's more in here to open up. So these are two other specimens. And then the big guy is on the bottom. Oh, we got a little baby here. Wait, what is this? All right, so we have four things from this box, the, the big crate to open up, which is fun. Oh yeah, that's what this is. I'm just gonna go for the big guy. I've been talking about the big guy. Very heavy. Ah. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna drop you guys a little bit. Now sometimes when you purchase minerals, kind of, you know, sight unseen, I mean, I saw 
all these pieces. Did my research on them, asked for sizes so I wouldn't be surprised because things always look larger on the internet than they actually are. But sometimes, if you're not careful, you can be very disappointed with your purchases. So for example, when I first saw this, it had just been cleaned, so it was wet. So it was shiny, beautiful, lustrous. Um, so I said, you know what, I'll hold off on purchasing it or claiming it until after it's dried. So send me a video of the piece after it's dry so I can make sure everything's good. And everything seemed to be good. So I guess the reason I'm saying this is just be careful when you purchase things online, especially minerals, because sometimes mineral dealers will wet something when they're photographing it to make it look more shiny. Sometimes they use mineral oil to do that. There she is. Okay, so far, the clarity on this and the luster just from this one crystal, I hope that's the same for everything. The lighting is crapping out on me, so I'm gonna move you guys. So what's bad about natural light is like when the sun comes out, the video goes dark. The white uh, wrapping doesn't help either. So if you haven't guessed already, I'll give you another clue. It's a purple mineral. Very famous purple mineral. Oh. Oh, it's so luscious. <gasps> it's amethyst, guys. This is amethyst from Congo. Wow, is this a great piece. And there's baby crystals in here as well. Ugh! 60 pounds of Congo amethyst. There's an air bubble in here, which usually means that there's like water inside of the crystal, that the crystal formed around water and left an air bubble. I don't know if we can move that bubble. But an anhydro, that, that's like, that's what it means, is there's water in the crystal itself. <gasps> that's so cool. Okay, there are some incredible phantoms in here. This thing is, oh man. So the sun was literally just shining on it, and then I started the camera, and of course, a cloud covered it up. But this is what it looks like in non-direct sunlight, and it looks like the sun is coming back. Look at this. Look at how cl the clarity is incredible. You can see deep inside the, the crystal there, some awesome phantoms. Look at the coloring in, in this one. What a gorgeous piece. And then on the back here, we have some baby crystals. And then where was that bubble? See that little bubble right there? That's so fun. Wow, what a stunning piece. I love the variation of different purples when the sun hits it. See, the sun's going away, and look. Look at how it kind of changes. The whole thing darkens. So cool. Such a pretty piece. I love this thing. All right, so what's this little guy? I think this is just a crystal. It might just be quartz. If I remember correctly, I, I bought like just a single quartz crystal. Oh, no, 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 this was given to me for free. I was like, oh, that's so cool, and I had, like, purchased a lot, so they're like, here, you can have this for free, so they gave it to me for free. Very fun, just single quartz crystal. So this, I believe, was from Inner Mongolia. Really nice clarity, actually. Guys, I had to move the camera again because I'm really struggling with the lighting here. I wanted to say that this was given to me for free, so I'm gonna pass it on to one of you guys. If you would like to win this Inner Mongolia quartz crystal, Really beautiful clarity too, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Check the description down below, you'll find information on how to enter. One of you will win this, and I will ship it to you for free anywhere in the world. And hopefully, if you're not a crystal collector, this will spark like a new love for crystal collecting for you. And if you are a crystal collector, it'll be fun to add an Inner Mongolian Quartz crystal to your collection. So this right here, this is selenite, and what selenite is, it's a variety of gypsum, the crystal gypsum, and it comes in a variety of colors and shapes and different localities. When I saw this piece, it just, it's super aesthetically pleasing. I was immediately drawn to it. And I forget the, the location in China that this particular selenite is, is from, uh, but this is from China. <laughs> Guys, I'm totally wrong. This is not selenite. This is another variety of quartz, and I purchased this so long ago, I actually forgot what it is. So when it comes to Chinese material, there's so much from all over the country, different localities, different locations, different mines. There's a lot to learn when it comes to Chinese material. So I may not be able to tell you like, you know, what 
area of China this came from. If I'm not mistaken, this was Mongolia, not China. Pretty sure this might have been Inner Mongolia quartz. This kind of looks like candle quartz, but I don't think that it is candle quartz. But here is this specimen. I loved the shape of this, just kind of the, 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 the way that the crystals form, the aesthetic of it, the balance of the piece. And here's the back. So pretty. All right, this is gonna be the selenite. And when you order something super fragile like selenite, it's shipped in like a sand-like material. You're gonna wanna have a garbage bag to catch all that sand. It's like, it's not actually sand, it's just something super lightweight. So unfortunately, I'm already seeing damage. This crystal was disconnected. I'm gonna rinse this off. Another sad thing about buying minerals online is you have to ship them and sometimes they arrive damaged. Whether they were kind of packaged incorrectly or got jarred around during shipment. Just make sure there are no more crystals in here hiding. That fell off. All right, so this crystal here has separated. It's being held in by these two crystals. And then the large crystal, which created the aestheticness of the piece, was up here. So this is, this is unfortunate, but I will contact the people that I purchased this from. So that was our first and hopefully only casualty of this video. All right, let's open up the other box. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff in here. This box is packed to the brim with magic. All right, I'm gonna pull all the little doodads out. Now, for the most part, this company has been really good with their packaging. There have been a few instances where things weren't packed super well, um, but they've also been really good with either providing like a, a discount on a future order or a discount on the item or a partial refund or a full refund. So I'm not too worried about the selenite over there. All right, this little guy, oh, this is a crystal. <gasps> This is very exciting. This is a really beautiful crystal. Quartz crystal with spessartine, I believe. Oh good, I'm glad. So they, they added some putty on the tip to help protect the tip. But see, that's what I mean when it comes to, you know, most of the things are packaged really, really well. Look at that thing. Perfect tip. With that garnet around, really, really cool piece. This is, what is this? Oh, this is Azurite. Oh, this piece, this thing is so colorful. It's like the most colorful Azurite I think I've ever seen. Holy moly cannoli. I don't even know what these other minerals are. I'm pretty sure there's some Malachite on here. So it's Malachite and Azurite. Um, what were the other, the other minerals? Uh, Copper? Was it copper? Some copper. Stunning piece! It's like, there's like a rainbow. It's a rainbow azurite. Like, that's what I'm gonna call it. I mean, obviously the azurite itself, which is the blue Jersey sparkly mineral, but there's some chrysocolla on here. Azurite, malachite, some other minerals. This is so pretty. Holy moly cannoli! Look at that beautiful, beautiful magic of just minerals. I wish you guys could see. It's difficult to capture this on camera, but look at that azurite sparkle. Look at this. So pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah, chrysocolla, malachite, azurite, just like caves everywhere of azurite crystals. All right, I have three more things to open up. The Lady Gaga piece has yet to be revealed. I don't remember what this is either. This is not the Lady Gaga piece. Oh, this is another selenite. <gasps> no, this is not selenite. This is, um, what is this called? This was mislabeled. This is called um, Credite. I'm pretty sure this is called Credite. So they had it labeled as selenite, but it's actually Credite. Let me just double check though and make sure I'm correct. Yes, Credite. So this is Credite, and I know that Credite is located from the Guizhou province in China. So we know one of the provinces that, you know, one of the items is from. But Credite, it kind of looks like selenite, but the f it creates like a flower type formation with its crystals, which I'll show you obviously once we unwrap this. 
But this piece I loved because there's like a, a cave of just credite crystal formations. And actually this whole thing is just covered in credite. Yeah, this is amazing. The way that the crystals form, again, it's just absolutely incredible. So it's like a spray of crystals. So it's like creating these like flowers all over this rock. Big sprays, small sprays. I'll try to get a better close up shot to put into the video itself. But you get an idea of just how sparkly and completely covered in crystal this specimen is. Here's that cave I was talking about. Such a cool piece. Oh wait guys, I actually found <laughs> another, another one to open. So we're, now we're at three left. Guys, I had to move the camera again because I cannot win with this lighting. Normally in the library, like I've got these spotlights and everything's like perfectly lit so I don't have to do anything. But when you're working with natural light, the camera tends to freak out. Oh, this I think is a stalactite, or this might be a stalagmite. So stalactites grow from the top of a cave. Stalagmites grow from the bottom. And the stalagmites are actually grown from the dripping of stalactites. And then they, they grow up from the bottom of the cave. This one I thought was so cool because it's just super funky looking. So from now on, if I have to move the camera again or like zoom in or something, I'm not gonna tell you, just know that I was fighting with the light. But maybe the change in camera angles and everything will make this very cinematic. So anyway, this the formation of this and the coloring and everything about this was just so cool to me. So it's on this like shale-like matrix on the bottom and then this really cool green gray color is that a cool piece? Like, is that amazing that this just grows? Just a bunch of different minerals creates this incredibly cool rock. Yeah, to me, this looks like a stalagmite. So stalactites usually have a, a thinner point where the water drips off. Stalagmites, the water drips down onto the mite and then kind of flows down. Um, and then you can see like these like little mushrooms on the bottom as well. So water would have also dripped down here and created these formations. I think this is the Lady Gaga piece. So I'm going to wait to open that. I don't know what this is, but it's something that's fragile. I did. I ordered a little piece of selenite. So that's what this is. And this has a tiny bit of damage, but nothing too bad. Just uh, we'd lost a crystal, but I loved this piece. Look at the structure of the crystals how they cross each other, how they've formed. So pretty. It's a small guy, but a beautiful guy. All right, we've made it. We've made it to Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is about to be opened up. And this mineral is from Fujin, China. And this specimen is a mixture of three different types of minerals. And the contrast of color, wait till you see the contrast of colors. Oh man, I'm so excited to see it. Whoa, it's darker than I expected. <gasps> Whoa, look at that right there. It's poking out. Lady Gaga has arrived. Okay, this isn't the best lighting for, oh my word. <gasps> this is tanzanite fluorite. So that's this down here with orange calcite on top and orange quartz on the bottom. So it's tanzanite fluorite on a bed of orange quartz topped with orange calcite. The combination of minerals on this piece is so rare and so crazy. This is nuts. And this is a Lady Gaga piece for sure. This thing in the sun is bedonkers, absolute bedonkers. So there we have it, the new babies. Sad this baby broke though. Love the Credite, love the Azurite. And of course this Lady Gaga tanzanite, orange quartz, orange calcite combo. That's so pretty. Well, you guys will see these specimens again once I do that full video and tour of the collection. There is so much in here to show you guys, so much to talk about, just waiting on that black quartz, and then I will take you on the tour. If you have any questions about collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector on Instagram. 
at the Potter Collector, on Twitter, now known as X at Potter Collector, or on Discord. The official Potter Collector Discord is linked down below. Oh, if you're interested in trying to win this Inner Mongolian Quartz, clear quartz, check the description down below. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?